How many people? Damn, we uh, we blew a jet into the mountain. God dang. And it was a dangerous, dumb, and expensive hoax. And the accused caller didn't just tell the tall tale once. <laughs> Good evening. Five 911 calls, five desperate dispatchers. All desperate to find a phantom plane down somewhere near Durango. The calls started coming just before 9 last night, and they set off an all out emergency response to find a deadly crash that never happened. Now, the man accused of telling that expensive, dangerous lie is in jail, and that could be the least of his problems. Is somebody hurt? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, what's the address? Seven people are dead. I'm sorry, 17 what? Seven people are dead. We just crashed landing. I've got half, half my arm. It's spitting blood, ma'am. Please. During the first of six calls to 911, a man who police say is Edward Pretzer claimed the plane he was in had just crashed and he was the only survivor. Dispatchers immediately sent help. Okay, sir, I'm trying to get somebody to you. Um, how oh, many damn, people... We, uh, we blew a jet into the mountain. God dang. 51 emergency responders, including helicopters with night vision, were called out. The call had all, all indications that, in fact, the plane had gone down, uh, that there were fatalities on that plane crash. Off-duty police were called in to cover Durango itself, while response teams searched for the wreckage. We got your GPS coordinates off of your cell phone. You landed in Colorado. I uh, know we crashed, ma'am. During another of his six calls, the man believed to be Pretzer claimed he was on a hill. He ended that call with a dramatic flourish. Hey, 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 goodbye, goodbye. He changed personas on his final call claiming this time he was a motorist driving along a road near the crash area. I think I'm, I ran over a man and smashed his head. Where are you? Uh, in Colorado. Crews later found Pretzer walking down a road. They finally determined that, in fact, this was the gentleman that was making the phone call and appeared to be intoxicated. Investigators say Pretzer first told them he had had a nightmare and thought he was calling a friend. He is jailed on a misdemeanor count of false reporting, and the La Plata County Sheriff's Department says it will likely file a civil suit to recover the estimated $30,000 that it cost to respond to that hoax.